Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the notes on angle relationships in triangles. At the end of this, you should be able to say I can prove and apply theorems about angle measures in triangles. So, first things first, let's look at the different types of triangles that we have. So, first one we have is equilateral, which all sides and all angles are congruent. So, all the sides are the same, all the angles are also the same. Okay, we also have isosceles, where we have two sides and two of the angles are congruent. So on isosceles triangle, these two sides and those angles that are across from each of those sides are gonna be the two congruent sides. So across from that angle, sorry, across from this side is this angle, across from this side is this angle. So those are gonna be the congruent sides, okay? Um, next we have scalene, which has no congruent sides or angles. So none of these sides are the same and none of the angles are the same, all right? All right, and then last one is a right triangle. It's a triangle that has um, at least, well, actually has exactly one 90 degree angle. Next we have triangle sum theorem, and that states that all the interior angles of a triangle will always add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so um, I have something that I wanna show you that will hopefully help this uh, make better sense. Okay, so here we have a, just a regular old triangle, probably a scalene triangle here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each one of these angles here. So I took this um, angle up here. I'm just gonna uh, rotate it here, line it up. And I take this angle here as well and take that over here and move it in. And I'm gonna rotate it around so that it matches up as closely as I possibly can with this other side. So basically we're just lining them all up so that they're the same. So now we've basically taken this angle and this angle and we've added them together, right? That plus that. Gonna give us these two angles here. All right, so there's the first two. And now we take this last one here and put it over here, um, add it onto this here. And when, we, when I move it up here, takes a little bit of time because I'm doing this in like Word or something like that. I can't remember. But um, so as we line that all up, if you notice here at the end when we're all done, we have, if you kind of ignore that little glitch part right there, we basically have a straight line, right, which equals 180 degrees. So you can do that with any triangle. So basically what you can do is you can take a triangle, like a paper triangle, tear off all three corners, um, line them all up together and you should always get a straight uh, a straight line here which means that um, all the uh, <clears throat> all the angles of a triangle will always add up to 180 degrees okay so that's the triangle sum theorem all right oops hold on a second okay that's better um, so a couple examples we have here um, we've got these two angles here and we're trying to figure out this third angle so let's find the value of and this is called theta that's often uh, that's a variable that we often use when you're looking for a um, unknown angle okay so we know that all three of these things have to add up to 180 so we can simply just take 71 plus 92 plus our theta and we know that this should always equal 180 degrees right so um, let's just add those two together and that gives us what 163 plus theta oops not q theta equals 180 subtract 163 from both sides All right and we get that theta is going to equal what 17 yep okay so um, this last little angle here is going to be 17 degrees all right, uh, same thing with this example over here. Find the value of x. So we have these three angles. We know that if we add all three of those up, it's got to equal 180. So we'll do 3x minus 4 plus 4x plus 11 plus 2x minus 7. We know that that all has to equal 180. So now we're just going to simplify, and away we go. 3x and 4x is 7x, plus two more x is 9x. Negative four and positive 11 is positive seven, minus seven is zero, equals 180. Divide both sides by nine, and we get that x is gonna be 20, okay? So um, we're using the triangle sum theorem to figure out what this variable is here and what our missing angle is there. 
Okay, next thing we have is the exterior angle theorem. The measure of the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two remote interior angles. So what that means in good old English is if you got this triangle here and you have this straight line right here, this angle here is going to equal these two angles added up. Okay, or also if you'll notice three and four are um, supplementary uh, angles here, they're going to add up to 180. Right, so if you know this, if you know three or four, you can figure out the other one as well. Okay, so this example here says find measure of angle one and measure of angle two if we know these three angle one, two, and four here. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see, we know that angle one and two have to add up to equal angle four, so we can say 4x plus two that's angle one. So let's do this measure of angle one plus measure of angle two has to equal measure of angle four. So measure of angle one is four X plus two, measure of angle two is five X plus five, right? And then measure of angle four is 142. So now we just go through and solve that. Four X and five X is nine X, two and five is seven. 142 subtract seven from both sides and we get 9x equals 135. So we then need to divide both sides by 9 and we get x equals, let's see what that gives us. So we take 135 divided by 9 and we get 15. Okay. So and now it doesn't say to find x, it says find measure of angle 1 and measure of angle 2. So measure of angle 1 is 4x plus 2 so 4 times 15 plus 2 and measure of angle 2 is going to be well let's see let's do this math first huh? 4 times 15 is 60 plus 2 so measure of angle 1 is 62 right and then now measure of angle 2 is going to be 5 times 15 plus 5 so measure of angle 2 is going to equal 5 times 15, that's 75, plus 5 is 80 degrees. Okay, so we've found our two angles there. All right, first let's take a little comedy break, shall we? Um, <clears throat> so let's take a look at a couple of uh, problems from our book here. So complete the proof of the triangle sum theorem. Uh, theorem. The theorem um, is the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. So given that ABC is a triangle, prove the angle, uh, measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 3 equals 180 degrees. So let's do this one really quick. Okay, first statement. This is a little bit of a weird one, but it says through point A, here's point A, we're going to draw AD so that AD is parallel to BC. So basically, we're just going to draw ourselves a little parallel line here. So here's our parallel line. And the reason we can do that is because uh, through any point not on a line, there's exactly one line that's parallel to that given line. That's our, that's our official reason, okay? Okay, so that's, <clears throat> excuse me, our official reason right there. All right, so now we can say measure of angle 5, which is this one, plus measure of angle 1, plus measure of angle 4 has to equal 180, right? And that's our angle addition postulate. Okay, so now since we have, if parallel lines are cut by a transversal, um, then alternate interior angles are congruent, right? So here's our transversal here. This line here is now parallel to this line there because that's what we drew, okay? So parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then alternate interior angles are congruent, right? So we can say that angle 5 and angle 2 are congruent, and we can also say that angle 4 and angle 3 are congruent, okay? So um, by definition of congruent angles, we can say that 
the measure of angle five is congruent to uh, the measure of is equal to measure of angle two and measure of angle four is congruent to the measure of is equal to the measure of angle three. Okay, and then by substitution property, we can simply um, <clears throat> let's see, we know that this is true up here. So when we take measure of angle five out, put measure of angle two in, take measure of angle four out, put measure of angle three in, and that's measure of angle two plus measure of angle one equals measure of angle three. Oh, sorry, e plus the measure of angle three equals 180, which is exactly what we have right here. So that's going to go right down into that spot. Okay, all right, uh, we're going to take a look. One last quick proof here. Um, and then away we go. So we're going to complete the proof of the exterior angle theorem. Okay, so we're going to use the triangle sum theorem to help us prove that. So our theorem, if you'll remember, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. So given that ABC is a triangle, prove that measure of angle 4 plus equals measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2. Okay, so triangle ABC with exterior angle 4, um, that's given. They show it that to us up here, okay? And then triangle sum theorem, we know that angle of one, two, and three, measure of angle one, two, and three have to equal 180, okay? Now, measure of angle three plus measure of angle four equals 180, and that's um, the linear pair theorem. They make a linear pair, okay? And then measure of angle four equals 180 minus the measure of angle 3, um, which is basically we're just subtracting the measure of angle 3 from both sides, right? So that's subtraction property. Okay, so now we've got to come up with these last two steps here. So what we can do is where we see this 180, 180, we can put, we can, we're going to substitute all of these three things right here in for this 180 right here, so it's going to look like this. Okay, so we simply just put measure of angle 1, 2, and 3 in for the 180 because we knew that from up above. And now these two, oh, and we did that, that's substitution, right? Substitution. And then when we simplify this here, we get that measure of angle 4 equals the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 right, because these measure of angle threes canceled out, and that is, all we did there was we just simplified. Okay, all right, that's all there is for angle relationships and triangles. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask in class. Thanks.